Hey guys, I hope that you're having a good break so far. Um, I'm here at school, which is why I'm in my casual dress. But we're going, I wanted to do a couple of video, videos for you guys when you get back. We're going to add to a little bit of what we talked about last time, which was vectors. Today we're going to talk about how we add vectors. But there are a couple of things that I just wanted to clarify about vectors before we moved on. Let's give ourselves a vector. We'll say that this is Porter pushing that cart and that he was pushing it with a whopping 100 newtons of force. Okay, there are a couple of different parts to this vector. The first part of this vector is the length of the vector. The length of the vector uh, represents how much of that stuff there is. So in this case, we have 100 newtons worth of stuff. We call that the magnitude. So the amount is the magnitude. The other part to every vector is the direction. In this case, we're just going to make it positive. So the direction is which way the arrow is pointing. And that's, I mean, that makes sense. That's pretty straightforward, and I don't think that anyone was really confused about that. But I just wanted to make sure that, that I made a point of, of, of indicating that. So here we've got a vector, a force vector, that has a magnitude of 100 and a direction of, to the, to the right for you guys, to the left for me. Um, or to, yeah, I think the left's right. We can also indicate that that's positive. And if we were to have a force vector in the opposite direction, and we'll make it the same magnitude just to make things easier, this would be 100 newtons, the direction would be opposite. And with vectors, we use a negative sign to indicate that it is in the opposite direction. And that's so when we add these two vectors, if you think of uh, Porter pushing in this direction at 100 newtons and me pushing back in this direction at 100 newtons, our sum of our forces is going to be zero newtons. And there are a couple of ways that we can add vectors. It's really pretty easy when the vectors are parallel, right? We just take 100 newtons, positive 100 newtons, and then add it to negative 100 newtons, and the result is zero newtons. That actually brings me to my next vocabulary word. So magnitude is the amount, the direction is the arrow, and if we add two vectors together, so the sum of Actually, we can add more than two vectors. We can add as many vectors together as we want. So the sum of multiple vectors we call the resultant. And now I just want to do a couple of examples of adding vectors together for you guys. Um, and there's a certain method that I'm going to be using. Vectors are really useful if we imagine the world as a piece of graph paper, where this is uh, x or y and this is x. This will be positive, this will be positive, and anything in the opposite direction, anything with an arrow in the opposite direction, will be negative. So this will be negative and this will be negative. I want you to think about life as a graph paper um, as I go into these examples. Okay, so here is life as graph paper. Um, let's say that in this scenario, each one of these boxes, so one box, is 10 newtons of force. Okay, we'll just start by giving this graph some scale. And we said that uh, new, uh, Porter was pushing on this box, I said 100, but let's make it 50, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Porter was pushing on this box with 50 newtons of force in the positive direction. I was pushing on this box with 50 newtons, 
one, two, three, four, five, 50 newtons of force in the negative direction. I don't know if you guys can see that all right. Let's make it pink maybe. Move up a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. So Porter had it 50 newtons in the positive direction. I was pushing down at 50 newtons in the negative direction. And if we want to add these two vectors, we can use this process called tip to tail. And we'll be doing this a little bit in class, but just know that this end, the end with the arrow, is the tip of the vector, right? And this end where the vector begins is called the tail of the vector. Vectors, the only two things that matter are the direction and the magnitude, so everything else we can change. I'm going to move this vector so that the tip of it is touching the tail end of this vector. So I'm going to redraw it down here because, again, so long as the direction stays the same and the magnitude stays the same, the only thing that matters is the, are those two things. So this is the same exact vector. I'm going to call it vector P for Porter, and this one will be vector T for Mr. T. That's Porter's vector. And if I draw my vector tip to tail, so I start the tip at this tail here, and I'm going to just draw it directly over. 50. We can see that positive 50 and negative 50 cancel each other out. This would be true if later on Porter decided to flex on me and he started pushing with, let's say, 80 newtons of force. 5, 7, 8. That's 80 newtons of force. Let's increase that down here where we're adding them together. So, that's, so I'm going to draw Porter's 80 Newtons down here. That's 80 Newtons. And if I draw my negative 50 tip to tail, here is my tip. One, two, three, four, five. Oops. This is negative 50 Newtons. We can see that this remainder, this vector that's left over, this resultant is 1, 2, 3, in the positive direction, 30 newtons. And we can do this mathematically as well, and I know that you guys can do this mathematically. Negative 50 newtons plus 80 newtons equals positive 30 newtons. I just wanted to show you guys this tip to tail method of adding vectors because it will come into um, use when we're adding vectors that aren't actually parallel. I think that we'll, we'll practice this tip to tail method a little bit more and we'll talk about it a lot more in the next video. See you soon.